Spend 20 minutes at this massive intersection and you'll see cars, walkers, joggers, and cyclists at this junction. You have like uh, five lanes meeting five lanes. A bustling road carries on. The only evidence of a fatal crash are these flowers, a memorial for 75-year-old Alan Gron. I'm, I'm really sorry, you know, to his family and uh, it's a tragedy. Andy Singer with the St. Paul Bicycle Coalition says he dreams of a day when people on these wheels don't fear the ones on these wheels. We need to make cycling safer in St. Paul and we can. Minneapolis has done it in the last 10 years and I think we need to um, invest more time and energy. He suggests slowing down. You know, if it takes you an extra 30 seconds or a minute or two minutes, so what? You know, it just, um, we're all in way too big of a hurry. And he says the city is already on its way to reprioritize road rules. Emphasizing pedestrians number one, bikes number two, um, public transit number three and everything else, which means cars, trucks, buses. With time, Singer says he hopes to see more resources poured into a road much traveled. And there are definitely things we could do to make this intersection safer. Um, perhaps a dedicated left turn only on arrow uh, as part of the signal phase. Um, we also could look at protected bike lanes on Summit. In St. Paul, Sharon Yu, CARE 11 News. This isn't the first time Summit and Snelling has made headlines for a fatal crash. Ten years ago, a woman was killed after being struck by a car at that intersection.